started making it and it was very asymmetrical. So I made one side happy because the semester's almost over. And the other side kind of sad, angry because we saw finals. And I couldn't make eyelashes. So I put glasses on him to try to draw away a little bit from the eyelashes. And that's pretty much it. Like I feel like I've seen like kind of like one of those Greek masks. Yeah. It's cool. So where do you see this piece living at? Maybe I'll give it to my grandma because she'll she likes anything I make her. This piece to me looks like um, kind of like a coral reef and um, my mom and I got scuba certified when I was in the eighth grade and so we've been um, scuba diving six different places out of the country together and so I painted it like a bluish color that mine showed me that's really really pretty um, just kind of for the ocean but to me it looks like a piece of coral like this is really common in coral like those dots and the open columns so that's what I was going for. I think it works. It's pretty simple, but simple is good. It's not too complex. Man, it's really cool how all of your marks look so, uh, like, duh. You, know, it's, you can see your finger in it. You can see the way that it should be molded and can get involved with it. But in the way that it does happen, it's so unpredictable and like all of Jeff's polarities that he's teaching now is right here. And it's just like, well, yeah, that's clay shavings, but how it's used is uh, so simple, but elegant. It's what it should be. It's in the moment. Yes, it is. It's in the moment. style to it. So I made a fox, something kind of close to me. I, I'm really with, really into wildlife and things like that. This is the frog bowl that I have. It's just chilling in there. Um, when you get to the bottom of it, the frog's obviously swimming in whatever you have in it. Um, in my mind, and it ended up turning out well. It was a great piece until I put it in the kiln. I, to build a sort of toga um, around it to kind of fit the age of what I wanted the sculpture to be in. I gave the paint, I gave this Greek god um, a paint of stone to resemble man, obviously, because yes, it's a human. But I put a braid on top because mind over man, the mind is more powerful than man, 
any other form of what man has ever made, and the mind can always um, manipulate what the man does because it controls the mind. Bots that survived, and I didn't get a chance to place it or anything yet, but I just did it like a week or two ago, and it just came out like kill. Um, this is a coil pot that turned out really nice. I think I'm going to use this one for the empty bowl project as well. Uh, so I did the jellyfish because my first um, statue kind of collapsed and I was frustrated and I worked on it for two days straight. Um, so then I was kind of at a loss of what to do and I was cutting clay and I realized that part of it looked somewhat like a tentacle for a for a jellyfish, so I said, I think I could do this, and it came about. Um, I also really like SpongeBob, so I'm going along with the SpongeBob theme. So, <laughs> as you know, I made the flower last time. So. <laughs> It's called beautiful destruction. So the volcano, like I made my weakness my strength, and I went with the cracks. And now, like I can't get a little great for the cracks because the volcano, <laughs> the volcano like, is supposed to have cracks. So like I was just, you know, happy about it. The idea here was that I was going to have three social classes, each represented on each one on each wall. So this bottom one would be the rich social class because they would have like, the most. Uh, furniture and things like that. And I'm thinking about adding like a good looking bed like kind of here. This bookshelf can serve as a room divider almost. And so this is kind of like the wealthy part. And then over here on a smaller section we have middle class. And in my opinion, and what I looked up online, rich people, especially like upper class people, tend to be less religious than middle class and lower class people. That's how it is in America specifically. And so I put a cross for the for the middle class, and I'll probably add some other religious denomination for the lower class as well. And yeah, that's kind of how it's going to play out. I'm just going to add different elements of what I think pertains to each social class on each wall.